Some have called it the most anti-Israeli country in Europe. Others view it as the most pro-Palestinian country in the EU. It's none other than Ireland. Here are four things you probably didn't know about Ireland's pro-Palestinian policies. Number one, Ireland has tried to ban all Israeli goods. In 2018, an Irish senator introduced the Occupied Territories Bill. A bill, if enacted, would ban the sale of all goods from Israel's illegal settlements in the Occupied West Bank. Fines of 250,000 euros or five years in jail would be handed down to those found guilty of importing or selling any goods or services originating in the Golan Heights, East Jerusalem, or the West Bank's illegal settlements. In 2019, the Irish lawmakers voted to pass the bill in the first of five required stages. In response, Israel summoned the Irish ambassador and slammed the move as a, quote, expression of full hostility. Although, as of 2021, the bill has not reached the final stage toward becoming a law, the move and discussions it triggered was considered a big win for the boycott, divestment and sanctions movement. Number two, Dublin City Council raised the Palestinian flag. In 2017, to mark 50 years of Israeli occupation, Dublin City Councillors voted by a two-thirds majority to fly a Palestinian flag over Dublin City Hall for an entire month, despite the criticism and complaints made by the Israeli ambassador to Ireland. Number three, Ireland funds humanitarian projects in Gaza. Ireland is funding multiple developmental and humanitarian projects in the Gaza Strip, where over two million Palestinians are sieged in what is considered as the largest open air prison in the world. These projects include water desalination, solar energy projects, and even hospitals. The Irish Foreign Ministry has even organized visits to Gaza to follow up on the implementation of these projects that aim to alleviate the deteriorating humanitarian situation in Gaza. Four, most Irish people are pro-Palestinian. Ireland is a vocal supporter of the Palestinian cause, and the country's own experience with British colonialism helped foster this solidarity. In 2004, an Irish NGO submitted a petition to government signed by 12,000 members of the public and 52 politicians calling for the boycott of Israel. The Irish people's bloody struggle to achieve independence from British rule has inspired an emotional connection to the Palestinian struggle. Drawing a parallel with their own history, the Irish people stand firmly against the Israeli occupation of Palestine. The political and historical narrative connecting Ireland to Palestine continues to inspire the Irish people to support the Palestinian cause and to call for an end to the conflict through the self-determination of the Palestinian people.